What's going on everybody? This is Future Automation, a place where imagination meets reality and you're listening to Tejas. This is going to be a really exciting video because two things that we have learned, I, I guess I, yeah, two things because Docker's videos are still about to come, but Docker SDK and Telegram, we are going to combine. So with a cup of coffee, let's get started. So guys, basically what we are going to do here is that we are going to control Docker using Telegram. So this can be done from anywhere outside the world just because the API that Telegram has created, the authentication process and all that stuff. So you are already aware of uh, how we can create a Telegram bot and how we can access that py uh, Telegram Python library and you know different messaging. So all my focus will be to show you how we have I have combined it and uh, give you some demos on that. So if you are new to this video, if you have not checked uh, uh, my previous video about Telegram, go ahead and check the previous videos. And also, if you have not checked about the Docker SDK, then that's the re most recent videos. I think one video back or two video back, Docker SDK. So go ahead and check it out. It's really helpful, and I think uh, throughout the video creation process, it has helped myself as well. So let's get to it. Before going to the coding information, I'll show you a quick demo, and then we can go ahead and we can finish it up. So basically here you can see that we have almost two containers which are running and then we have three which are uh, stopped. So maybe I'll just delete this Alpine because I want to show you that as well of uh, you know getting a container pulling it running it. Okay so uh, I'll just show you so first comes first the basic and the most uh, normal command before that we need to run the code as well. So python telegram sdk and we have this error sometimes it happens that uh, you know recently if you have run the program and then you'll run again it will give you an error second time it will work for sure so no need to worry now the code is running let's send the start command and once you'll do that you'll get an idea that what all commands we are having so start to get the command get list to get the list of containers run to run a container and stop to stop all the containers so we'll start with the get list two containers we are having which are running one is the heuristic cards and whatever it is and the second one is the again whatever it is i i don't know how it the, how the name the containers uh you know uh dynamically uh, on what basis but yeah they are funny names next to that uh so you can see here we don't have any alpine linux that is running so whenever i'm going to click on run technically what it should do is it should run this alpine linux <coughs> And you can see here that it has created an Alpine Linux. Although the uh, running code is basically an eco hello world, so it will not keep on running. These two are running a web server, so they will anyhow work. But this is just going to give you a you know a eco hello world, and it is going to close. Now we need to stop all the containers, so we'll go to the stop command, and it will go. It will stop all the you know running containers, and it will then give us back that okay all containers are stopped and basically this is it we can add more functionalities like getting the list of images and uh, getting the you know uh, running all the containers at the same times and again many more things you can specify which container you want to pull and run if you have the list of containers if you have given you know manual names to the containers and you want to specifically stop or run any container then we can do that that part probably i'll be taking care in you know future videos this one is just to give you a heads up on what we can do so you can see here that both the containers are now stopped and let's get into the code okay guys so let's get to the code and once we'll get in once we'll get uh, a basic understanding of the code then it's it's quite you know piece of cake to work with this and all the code that again i am showing will be in the github so don't forget to check out my github page all the previous uh, 
you know repos are also having all the video codes if there is anything missed out let me know in the comment section that okay this video's code is not available i'll probably drop drop it in the github and i'll let you know as well so let's get to it so first thing first uh drop in the libraries first uh, login is basically used here to you know give a basic log of the time name and you know any messages uh, that we have next to that is the token key now those who have already watched my previous video which is related to telegram or any of the video where we are having any sensitive credentials you already know that i always create another file for that so that's that file uh, for the authentication token that uh, telegram has provided me next to that is the updater command handler message handler and filters these are few of the imports from the telegram library that we might need uh, so i think updater i am already using somewhere um yeah here and command handler also we are using so that's another and i think filter we are using in the echo back here so i'll, I'll explain you in the in the flow so yeah that's it uh, second to that what we are doing is uh, docker so docker sdk video again uh, we need to import the docker sdk here if you have not installed it pip install docker that's it if you have any any issue in that you can check out the docker video again links in the description uh, you'll get a clear picture about what exactly we are trying to do create the client of the docker here uh, to control all the functionalities of the docker next to that we are logging in the basic configurations and next to that we are starting with the function now before going to the functions let me go to the main function uh, because i'll just close this okay yeah yep yep so so here in the main function what we are doing is we are creating an updater variable which is going to keep the instance of the bot token and whether we are going to use context flag will be true or false so for that we are creating an updater variable and then we are going to create a dispatcher from the updater which we will be using to add all the handlers that we are going to create basically handler is nothing but the functions that we need to perform on some command level action that's that's the handler what is the easiest uh, thing i can explain so dp dot add handler what add handler does is it's kind of a you 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 think of it as a you know as a global list of all the handlers or all the command handlers that you are creating and you are adding it in this dp that's what it is so start get list run stop help again what are these i'll explain you in a minute then we have this message handler as well if there is any error so error handler start polling basically starts the you know telegram service and we can then we'll be able to access it and next to that is idle so basically it will stay idle in case of nothing and then if name equals to main then it will run this main function now one by one we'll start with the functions first comes first start so basically why we add start function is because everyone who is coming to a new bot they are pretty sure that there is always a start command to get an idea of what that particular bot is doing so for that we are creating this and we are up, uh, we are replying to the user that okay you can use the following commands to do these these tasks ultimately these commands can be accessed through that message as well as i did here so you can see that if uh, you know uh, you'll click here then that command ultimately will be executed now the first important command that we are working with is the get list so what get list will do is in the previous video what we did we just added a print here now instead of print what we are doing is we are using this update.message.reply text which will send a reply to the user who has requested this particular function and then we already are getting the list of containers uh from so which we are one by one replying to the user so that is what is the get list next to that is the run function so basically run what it is doing is we are calling the client dot container dot run function in the message dot reply text where i was pretty sure that it will reply hello world as we have already mentioned but unfortunately it didn't 
why why i am also not sure i'm still looking into it but probably i think that uh, it was a quick re response and probably this particular function is not equipped to handle that kind of you know uh, response or anything like that if you are aware of uh, the situation maybe you can just drop in in the comment box and tell me okay this is the reason why it was not showing it anyways so what we are doing basically here is we are running an alpine linux and we are asking the linux to echo hello world so if you are doing this in a cmd uh, sorry in the command line then basically it will do the same it will echo hello world now next to that stop so basically we are getting the list of all the containers we are stopping each container one by one and then we are responding that okay all the containers are stopped next to that for the help we are just replying help for any other message other than anything like this we are just echoing the same message to the user if there is any error for that we have created an error handler so that's it guys this is the easiest and i think the fastest one that we were able to cover since uh, all the most of the code is uh, covered previously in the pre uh, in the older videos of telegram as well as the docker sdk so it was quite easier i just wanted to show you that okay we can do this as well so those who are having personal servers in their home where they are doing something related to docker containers they can do manage their containers using telegram and uh, you know docker sdk so we can just we can also you know uh, make it more interactive with the buttons uh buttons using it okay you'll click one button then it will give you some more uh, menu options in that so that i have covered in previous i think the second uh telegram 102 or something or 101 i'm not sure but i have covered that buttons code as well so make sure you check all the previous videos related to telegram and docker sdk and also make sure you check out the podcast playlist i'll be dropping a few more podcasts in coming weekends but the first two were really awesome and uh, i really gained a lot of information so i'm expecting you guys to go ahead and check it as well and provide me a lot of feedback so that we can come up with awesome videos in the future and yeah that's it if you like the video make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're new if you have any issues make sure you use the comment section to add your questions i'll i'll be very happy to address them and if you have anyone who is interested in such videos make sure you share the video and that's it guys keep innovating take care thank you